Now I've done a pretty good job avoiding reviewing prototypes recently. I generally don't like to review prototypes because I like to get my hands on the actual watches that you guys will get if you end up buying the watches that I review. I like to review full production watches because prototypes quite often turn up with a big long list of things that are going to be improved on the full production watch and also the brands will tell you that the build quality is going to be better for the full production watches the loom will be better the bezel actions will be better there'll be less dust and crap and dna under the crystals and on the dials and well i just don't like to spend the review sort of making excuses but i've agreed to review this particular prototype because there seems to be a lot more in this watch for me to get my teeth stuck into I'm not going to be spending the majority of this review you know talking to you about what's going to be improved in the full production watches these prototypes do seem to be pretty good and there are some really interesting features on this watch for me to really dive into so yeah I was keen to get one of these in to review i've also seen these watches do the rounds on youtube with other channels and i was getting fomo to be honest i was missing out so when i was contacted and invited to review this prototype i said on this occasion yeah sure why not and i'm pleased i did because like i've said it seems to be pretty well made it looks to be what i would expect from a full production watch on the whole anyway and there are some really quite interesting design elements to this watch now this is a version two so the first thing i want to do is just quickly summarize what i've been told anyway are the improvements or changes over the version one and the version one watch was very very popular very well received but it looks like a number of buyers did feedback and say oh i think this this and this could be changed and improved for a version two and so they have obliged they have taken that feedback and improved this watch i like that when a brand listens to its customers and improves its products it's good for all of us isn't it so the changes to this watch over the version one are they've improved the movements it's now got an s w 200 in it smaller clasp uh, there's no loom pip on the bezel you've got an improved minute track they're offering some new models and they've improved the printing on the dial apparently some of you guys with the version one weren't happy with the quality of the printing on the dial like i said i never reviewed the version one so i can't really offer you any more detail when it comes to the improvements between this watch and the version one but yeah that is apparently what has changed now let me show you this watch in lots of detail and i'll run through all the important stuff so you guys can decide whether or not it's worth picking up and if you do decide to pick it up or pre-order it i should say these are available to pre-order it'll be delivered in the summer of 2024 apparently and you can get a free rubber strap although you'll need to pre-order it put the rubber strap in your basket and check out using a discount code which will basically make that rubber strap free. Um, the code is SBV2. Now this version two shellback is being made available in a date or no date variation. There's four color options available. One of them is a sort of coated black stealthy version. You've then got a sort of white dial, very monochrome looking version, and then a blue and a black version. As you can see, I've been sent the blue version, but I actually think the pick of the bunch is the black one. I think it would be the white one if it had a black ceramic bezel, but it doesn't, and I'm not wild about all stainless steel bezels. So yeah, for me, the black one is where it's at. It is, of course, a 200 meter diver. So you've got a screw down crown and a screw down case back. You've got an on the fly adjustment system on the clasp as well. It's not really a diver's extension. It's more for when you're wearing this watch and you know your wrist swells up, you can just let a little bit out, make it more comfortable. I think one of the strongest features on this watch is the dial you've got a sandwich dial i like the way they've integrated the date on the date versions you've got that sort of additional frame around the date complication which is loomed and i'm going to show you the loom now there's no point in me doing the loom degradation test at the end of this video because the loom on this particular pro here we go i'm starting to make excuses now when i the loom on this particular prototype isn't great so yeah but i do like the way the watch is loomed i like the fact that there's loom on the bezel i like the sandwich dial loom i like the loom on the hands yeah it's an interesting loom design if you like really cool case shape as well isn't it i like this case shape yeah it's quite a familiar looking case shape i've seen quite a few watches recently 
with this sort of silhouette uh, and outline. I like him. I do like him. I like the finishing as well. The finishing on this prototype seems to be very, very good, which bodes well for the full production watches because generally they will just be as good, if not better finished than the prototypes. And yeah, the finishing on this watch looks to be really, really nice. Transitions between different types of finishing, very, very good. I like the bracelet. I like that sort of angular three link design. Lots of light play. It looks to be again, very, very nicely made. Lots of branding on this watch as well. You've got some branding on the outer shell, some branding inside the clasp on one of those milled elements. Oh, and while I'm on the bracelet still, yeah, you've got screw links, solid end links, solid links, and double ended quick release spring bars, which is always a nice touch. And apparently you can buy half links. Why would you need half links? if you've got this on the fly adjustment system and why wouldn't you just include them with the watch if you think they're necessary anyway i guess it's better to have the option than not end link fit is good and there are female end links which i think is good for those of us that have smaller than average sized wrists case back is fairly deeply engraved a few specifications on there an interesting design um yeah screw down case back so yeah that's nice enough now i like the dial this blue one and i haven't seen the others obviously but this blue one has a really interesting finish to the dial. At certain angles, it looks quite matte and then you catch the light with it and it almost looks quite metallic. Yeah, I like that. And in different lighting conditions, it looks to be sort of different colours, almost a blurple colour. The bezel is a little bit more consistent in its colouring. Beautifully finished, though, a ceramic bezel insert. Now let's have a little fiddle with the bezel action. Yes, nice enough actually it's got that sort of springy returning action i've seen that on a few other watches before it's like you have to rotate the bezel past its position and then a spring or some sort of resistance will then push it back for it to sit in its correct location the alignment is perfect so it's completely intentional i'm sure but yeah it does mean there is some play in the bezel but i think like i've said it is intentional plenty of grip and yeah it's 120 click unidirectional bezel action it is a nice bezel action one i could definitely fiddle with really cool hands actually these are bespoke hands hands that have been designed for this particular model and that circle in the hour hand perfectly glides over the, well, smiley shell back, which again, I'm sure is completely intentional. And if it wasn't, they got very, very lucky. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Lovely piece of crystal on this watch as well. Double domed sapphire crystal AR coating and the edge of the crystal lines up with the inside of the bezel insert. So you get a very smooth profile to this watch. I mean, the side profile is nice anyway because of the case shape. It looks to be very well proportioned. The watch I'm talking about overall but yeah from the side yeah I like that profile with the crystal and the bezel it looks good and the watch feels well balanced on my wrist I mean there's a decent amount of weight in this bracelet it feels very nicely made it feels like a very good quality watch and you'd expect that from a micro brand watch costing $650 um, the retail price is $699 but you can get $50 off at the moment and that free rubber strap of course if you pre-order this watch I think that's as much as it needs to be I'd like to see the price a little bit lower to be honest but it is a very nicely made watch and you do have the SW200 inside this watch so I can see this selling pretty well at this price point so on this occasion, no regrets at all for reviewing a prototype. I think this is very, very close to the watch that you will get the full production watch that is if you pre-order one of these watches and I do not think you will be disappointed. It is a good looking, well balanced, well proportioned, beautifully made, beautifully finished automatic dive watch. I suspect most of these won't be used as dive watches. They never are. They're more desk divers, aren't they? But yeah, this is one you could wear all day, every day. Not too big, not too heavy, well balanced, like I've said. You know, decent construction with the bracelet and that clasp underneath your wrist. Balancing out the weight in the case all the way around your wrist. And so, yeah, for my first review of a Tuseno watch, I'm impressed, despite it being a prototype. Right, guys, as always. A massive thank you from me to you for tuning in. I do really, really appreciate it. Let me know what you think of this watch and the review in the comments section. And as always, thanks for watching.